Hello and welcome, or welcome back to my channel. My name is Lizzie Fisher, and you can find me here on, you, you have found me here on YouTube, and you can find me on Instagram as this Mrs. Fisher underscore stitches. How are you? It's Monday the 11th, I believe, of March. I didn't film over the weekend because I had some coursework that I needed to get done, um, which I've finished. Um, I don't know how good it is, so I'm just worried there's um, a lorry just pulled up outside, so I hope you don't hear it. Um, yeah, I finished it. I don't know how good it is. I really didn't know what I was doing for the second half of one of the assignments, so I did my best. That's all we can ask for, isn't it? And my best seems to get me through to a pass, if not more, so we'll just keep our fingers crossed and really hope that that mm. is... No, he's not. <coughs> yes, he is. Sorry about that. Um, where was I? Yeah, um, hopefully I'll have passed. But because it's been a coursework heavy few weeks, I haven't done masses of stitching and I've really felt that my ability to cope with things has suffered as well because I haven't done more stitching. So you'd think I'd make time to stitch, but my brain has just been fried. Um, it's like I want to stitch, but there's no time and I also want to sleep. Um, basically when I go to uni, apart from Mondays, I have to, well, I don't have to leave the house. I leave the house at half past six because my theory is it's better to get there without any traffic, without any holdups, because I go on the motorway, um, without the risk of holdups on the motorway and get there in plenty of time. I hate being late. Um, get there in plenty of time so that I can just sit and I'm wind. I mean, my original plan was to go to the gym, but I found a nice comfy place where I can sit and drink tea in the morning. So I sit and drink tea, maybe do a bit of stitching, maybe do a bit of a review of the day before's work. Um, and then I get home about 5.30 and W the Ds, the canines. And then then I either have coursework or want to review the day, have to eat tea, do the dishes, that type of thing. Um, yeah, I'm generally quite pooped. So like last week, even though I was a coursework week, so I was actually at home last week, um, I was only managing like at most 44 stitches a day. It really made me sad. So this weekend, although I've submitted my coursework, um, was doing my coursework, I made an effort to do some stitching as well. So I have got some stuff to show you. It's been a fortnight, so there is stuff to show you. Um, I just need to grab something. Bear with me a minute. Pause. Oh, yeah, sorry. I think that was the right button. Okay, so um, I've had a new start. So, so since the last video, we've had Leap Day, um, the 29th of February, and I started a Leap Day start. I'm not planning to take four years over it because it's not a massive piece. However, um, and I've taken some projects upstairs as well. Um, because my husband wanted to see that patch of carpet to check it was still there. Um, so I don't plan on it taking four years, but most of my projects do take me four years more because I like starting all the things. Um, but let's, let's have a go at it not taking four years. So the start I have made is on this chart, um, Love Birds by Nora Corbett. Um, La La D Stitches, if you don't follow her on YouTube, you really should. She's the most adorable person in the world. Um, and I love her floss tube. She's prolific with her cross stitch and she does quilting as well. Um, very relaxing to watch. She's just started this as well. Um, so this was pointed out, this chart, when it was released, we were actually at a Floss Friends retreat and Edita pointed it out to me. Um, Comments on what you think it looks like in the box. I have a very strong feeling that this is uh, Nora Corbett having a good old joke at mankind, not mankind, the patriarchy. Um, I love this for that and it's, yeah, my daughter loves it as well. So I might end up stitching it twice, once for me and once for her. This is where my starter's got me to. Sorry, there's a, a thread dangling, but now I now know where it is. So I'm stitching it on, um, some sulky 32 count with sparkles and I've got that rose at the top see that rose there underneath the bumblebee I've got that in I'm 
not sure my fabric's going to be big enough now I look at the chart. I measured it twice, cut it once. Well, actually, I didn't cut it, this is all I had left, so let's hope so. I might go down to the bottom and up to the top next when I next pick it out. But it's lovely. Um, I've got all the called for threads, I've got the um the water lilies, Karen water lilies, and this turquoise is beautiful i'm hoping it's not going to need too much because i want to take half of this now and put it in a different project now i've seen what colors it is it's beautiful and here's all my other threads this is a self-made tiger lily project portfolio thing mine are floppier than hers are because i don't know how to make where to get the stuff to make them a bit of thermal but i love I've got all that i've got all the beads it's going to be very exciting i've never done a project with beads before i mean i've got lots of projects that need beads but i've never put the beads in so that was my new start for the fortnight i wanted to have a new start the other day and i was talking to natalia craftivating with craftivating crafting with natalia and i was well i can't remember why i wanted a new start oh because i got some good i got some feedback from a previous piece of coursework and i thought i'd scraped past and i'd done very well so um yeah i thought i could have a celebratory start but i was good i held off because i already had this one started um she said she might start one for me so i'll have to watch her next floss to see if that happens let me check my little book and see what I stitched on next. Um, well, or before that, but I thought I'd start with my new start because I'm very excited by it. Um, I, and I know where it's going to hang in the house, just at the top of the stairs. Um, mind you, I always think all my cross stitches are going to sit at the top of the stairs, uh, live at the top of the stairs, so you see them as you go up the stairs. Um, but as I don't finish anything, it's really fine. It's really fine. Okay, so... When you last saw me was a Saturday and on the Sunday I said I was, I don't know if I said, I mentioned. Um, that's interesting. Um, I was going to see my friends Fiona, my needle's stuck, uh, Fiona and Leslie. We were going to go to um, just a sort of day, day retreat, just the two of, three of us. Um, and we met in a hotel had coffee it was it was a really lovely day we had coffee um and then we stitched and drank our coffee while we stitched and nattered natter 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 um and we actually my my hoop that this is in was a gift from leslie it's another liberty hoop i've got one and now i've got two it's got beautiful kites on it so it's a hoop covered in Liberty fabric that her husband got us from Liberty. So thank you very much, Mr. Leslie. And thank you very much, Leslie, for our gift. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, so we had coffee and we stitched and we nattered and we had lunch and we all over ate and felt very full. So we had another coffee and then we stitched and stitched and talked and talked. And then we came home and it was honestly so so good for the soul it really was um stitching and talking and talking about stitching i mean we talked about a lot of other stuff um because that's what you do when you're with friends but just having the soul i mean i don't think if it wasn't for stitching i don't think leslie fiona and i would even be friends that i love the fact that that thread has brought us together um and it's, it's all good, it's all good. So I showed you last time Ragnarok, I had a little bit of stitching that I hadn't done, it was just fill in. So I filled in that in the morning and then in the afternoon, I started working on my one of my dragon projects, um, Dragons and Apples by Quaternion Creations. Um, I've done loads since then as well because I've got a little bit obsessed with it. So I did a centre start and here's my dragon now. Isn't he looking fine? So I'm using, I've got a cone of, um, I'm not really sure what make it is, a cone of black. So I'm using the black from that. And then this, um, all this in, in the wings is DMC C310, so it's the Etoile. So it's got a bit of sparkle in real life. I doubt we'll get it on the camera because I'm blocking the sun out. Um, 
and I'm doing so I've done the main body with two strands and anything in the toile I'm doing with one strand um, just for fun really um, there are mistakes but I don't care because I think it's absolutely wonderful really looking forward to moving forwards with this one um, it's, it's my comfort stitching at the moment because it's nice and easy I'm doing it in hand I was doing it in a hoop but I found that for me doing this one in hand um, works really well and I get progress quickly which makes it a joyful stitch isn't it cute um, so he's going to have his leg and his tail comes round and goes up and behind and then there's a little egg here as well so that's cool um, and that lives in my dragonfly bag because dragons fly what else have I stitched on so that was what I did the day after and um, we sat and we had and we're, we're planning to go to Stitch North in 2024 so we had lots of chats about that so Stitch North is a Canadian retreat uh, organized by Evertote and um, it's been on our mind for a long time and, and it's really going to happen it's very exciting I won't have any coursework then I'll still be working at the university but I won't be doing coursework and stuff so it's just going to be a lovely lovely holiday and we're going to see Niagara Falls we're going to look around Toronto apparently we're going going clothes shopping okay I'll just bring my knitting I think and just stand in the corner and knit um, <laughs> we're going cross stitch shopping and I'm here for that okay so I did work on Matthew's combine harvester um, I don't think I'm going to get it finished for his birthday because it's so boring can you see I don't know if you can see that I've made any progress at all but I have done lots of stitching on it I think last time you saw it it looked like that um, and now that's where I'm at but I have other plans for his birthday, so it's not the end of the world. Um, but I'm going to make a big thing about finishing this. And then when he gets his birthday present, it'll be even more impressive because that won't be finished by his birthday. And he'll think I haven't done anything. And I will have done by then. So then, after that, I stitched on my Christmas present from him. And I can't even see it now. Because so I've buried it with everything else. Um, my Christmas present from Matthew was this Gecko Rouge kit. Artwork by Tanya Bond. And he's called Peter Pig. And I love him. Look at him. Look at his little boat. He's just the most gorgeous little... Oh! And I've worked on this for quite a few evenings. Um, last saw it, it looked like this. I took a picture before I started to pick, when I picked it up again. And now, dear Peter, dear Peter, looks like this. So I've done a bit of pink up in his face. I've filled in some of his jacket and I've done a bit of the boring grey over here. I don't have any rhyme or reason to what I'm doing. I am literally just picking threads up. If I stand behind it, it might, not, it might focus. Um, I'm literally just picking up threads so picking a colour, because I'm doing it in Pattern Keeper, picking a symbol um, and running with it really. I'm a bit concerned, I don't know if you can see, there's like this whitish whitish colour here. There's quite a lot of that colour. I didn't really like stitching that colour because it's just, it, it looks bad. I don't know why, because it's one over one, so it should look the same as everything else. Maybe I just need to rip that out and do it again. Well, hopefully you won't notice when it's finished. I think we're at about 11% now. So that's quite exciting. 11% on a full coverage. I mean, this is the outer border on this side, and I think the outer border is there. So it's not a big full coverage. This is the bottom, and the top goes to about here, I think, because he's got such a massive head. Um, yeah. So he's actually smaller than the picture that came with him. Oh, I love him. So I'm thinking I'm doing it on 25 count. I haven't checked. Um, I don't think you can get 28 count from Gecko Rouge or 32. So I think I'm doing it on 28 count. No, what did I say? 25. It feels like 25. Um, one over one. And it's it's good fun. Slow progress, but good fun. 
And then the other thing I've stitched on is my ink circles, the most magnificent UK round robin thing that I'm doing with um, Ros Clark Crafts and two other people whose names don't stick in my head, but I will link them below or at least put their Instagrams because you can see what they're stitching on. We've got some a good mix. One person's already finished, which made me think I really need to get my um, posterior in gear. So um, I'm stitching or we will be stitching on my behalf. Elemental Dragon's Water, Year of the Dragon. It had to be a dragon chart for me. Um, I love it. Is that focused? And um, so we're stitching, I'm stitching it on this beautiful watery piece. It's by Lakeside Needle Craft and it's called Aquamarine. It's 18 count Ada. Here's where I'm at. Um, and I'm stitching it with a paint box. I always have to get the invoice out. Paint box threads using a fine weight silk, two over one square of Ada. And um, the silk, I don't think it has a colourway, I just think it has a name. I'll just, a, a number, sorry. Oh, I don't think it has a name, it just has a number. And I'm sorry, I'm not really looking at the camera, I don't know if you noticed. And so here it is, it's just a navy blue. But what I've been thinking is, while I've been stitching it, and since I opened that Karen Water Lily, see the elements that aren't dragons, like the fish, seaweed. I think what I would like to do, let me just unhook it a second, is, oops. What I think will be lovely is to. Are you ready? Oh, it's so nice! It's so nice! Add that in. I think that's going to be amazing. So I might do some of that tonight, add that in tonight to have a look. And if need be, I'll just buy another one. Um, send this one off with my round robin and buy another one to finish. The Nora Corbett piece of the birds because I think that's going to make it pop. I think the dragons needed to be dark but well let's be honest I'm not I'm not known for finishing things at all so this is going to be amazing because other people are going to help me finish it um, and I'm also this will just brighten it up a bit I like bright colours that's the other water lilies that um, the Nora Corbett calls for, which is all my colours. Well, it's not really showing there because of the light. Purples and oranges and a bit of brown, which isn't my colour. I don't like brown. Yeah, so that's all my stitching. 17 minutes. Bargain. Um, I've got a cup of tea somewhere. Excuse me. Oh, I can't reach it. I'll have it in a minute. Okay, so what should we talk about? I talk about another... YouTube account that I follow, not at all related to stitching. It's called Living the Sky Life. It's about a man about about it's made by a man and a woman called Willie and Sarah. They are husband and wife, and they moved from somewhere, I can't remember where, in Scotland up to the Isle of Skye. And they started a floss tube program about it to document the um, process and I, I love the Highlands, I love the Isle of Skye, have lots of fond childhood memories about it and it was just the most perfect relaxing um, YouTube account for me to follow and I love them and she's an artist, he's a musician, did I say that? So you know it, it's really good. Anyhow I saw on one of their videos that Sarah had been uh, charity shop shopping or thrift store shopping and she'd picked up some picture frames and in these picture frames was some cross stitch and you know I knew she just wanted the picture frames and so I sent her a message saying if you're not 
going to keep the cross stitch. Please, may I have it? Um, I'll send you the money. And I sent her the money for uh, the postage. And she sent me the cross stitch. I was going to make it into project bags, which I might still do. But I'll show you them first because they're also still cut, boarded up and done so nicely. So here they are. There's four. They're seasons. I thought these would be brilliant on cross stitch from project bags. So there's spring. I think that's spring. Summer. Yes, yeah, spring, because birds lay eggs in spring. Summer. Autumn. And winter. Aren't they gorgeous? I mean, to be honest, you know, I wouldn't have it in the house, but, you know, um, Mama Loves You GB did that window finish for her Santas. You could put those in windows almost. They're really, they're really well stitched. They're really pretty. They're on Ada. The stitches are much better than mine are. Um, so yeah, I haven't done anything with them because I keep forgetting to show you how lucky I was. Um, that she, and she sent me these. But if you do want to see some beautiful scenery and hear some beautiful accents, Go follow um, Living the Sky Life and start at the beginning. You won't be disappointed. Um, I really love following them. They release their videos on a Sunday evening and it's a nice... I've got to go to uni tomorrow, but uh, I've still got a couple of hours of today left. I'll relax with those. Then something else, not that I... Um, something else that was found in a charity shop was, and I had to buy it, dimensions kit it's a bit dated is it oh, I don't know but it's been opened I'm not taking out the um, plastic though I love it it's yeah it looks a bit dated but it's got the thread on the um, pre-sorted thread and it was only five pounds the man said you do know that's five pounds like that's fine I am um, yeah, that's that's not bad price. It's got the Ada, which I might switch out and use. I mean, that would be pretty on some hand dyed fabric, maybe. Yeah, I can't. I say I can't wait, but let's be honest. I'm just going to put it in the pile, aren't I? And let me show you one that I've got. I don't know if I've ever showed you it. I've got it here because it's been on the dining table a bit because we were discussing it a few weeks ago. So this is a dimensions kit that um, I bought last year. My father-in-law sent me some money um, for graduating and I purchased this kit. So this one's 2020, 09, just got the date on, look. Can you see that? 09, 04, uh, 25th of September, 2020. What this one has? Yes. 2016. So this is 2016. There you go, didn't know that. This one's 2020. And I want to start it this year. Well, obviously I'd like to finish it this year, but I'd like to start it because my long story. <laughs> Alexa's talking to herself in the kitchen. Um, I would like to start this this year because my village brownie my old village, where my mum lives, where I grew up, Brownie Pack is celebrating 50, its 50th anniversary this year. What has this got to do with brownies, I ask you? You ask me. I know exactly what it's got to do with brownies. And my sister and I have got a bit of a disagreement about this story. My mum thinks it happened to both of us. You'd think she'd learn after the first one. Way back when we were brownies, brownies used to have to, or didn't have to, but brownies could do interest badges um i think they were called you know you got your little badge to sew on your sleeve um and i i still am i'm doing my second degree i was a prolific badge collector so you, you name it i wanted to do it and i was so proud when i was a guide i was so proud i got practically all of them um anyhow still what has this dimensions project got to do with brownies one of the badges that both my sister and I did was our hostess badge. And what you do is you invite 
someone to come to brownies and have sort of tea and cake with them and you take your table setting so you take your tablecloth take some flowers for the table and you lay it out and you serve them blah de, blah de, blah if you do the job you get your badge well I remember failing and so does my sister and we failed because our flowers were in a jam jar it's all the rage now but back then flowers should have been in a flower vase and when I saw this kit I just screamed that's Mrs Payne failing me for my badge I have very fond fond memories of Mrs Payne who's unfortunately passed away um, but I bought this in memory of her and that badge I actually had flowers in jam jars at my wedding goodness um, they were coffee jars they weren't jam jars they were coffee jars anyhow um, so yeah this is on the cards to be started this year um, in memory of her and in celebration of 50 years of the brownie pack existing in the village my daughter now helps at that brownie pack she goes along every Tuesday and helps out and is a great help I believe I've had lots of messages of how proud they are of her helping out so much which is lovely I don't think she wants to do it other than to help the person that's running it um, unfortunately my other daughter doesn't have such fond memories of brownies um, but yeah both me and my sister have the same memory so it either happened twice or one of us was so scarred from it that we both remember it happening to ourselves my mum thinks it probably happened twice because it was like one of those oh here grab some flowers from the garden shove them in that off you go type things but yeah that's going to be really beautiful when it's stitched up I've not even opened it I don't know what the pattern is like I believe dimensions patterns are sometimes a bit tricky to stitch because of the amount of threads you need to use but it's not huge so it should be all right yeah um do i have any plans do i have any plans uh the reason i'm building now apart from the fact i didn't do it the weekend is because next weekend i've got one of my girlies home for these holidays which is exciting and so i might not get to film for a bit uh, it depends whether she's asleep or awake in the mornings because i don't like having an audience um and so we'll see how we get on uh, my plans are mainly to finish my portion of the round robin so I can be ready to send it off and also because I'm excited to see what this colour looks like in there very excited to see that I might do that now before I go into uni and I've got some knitting to do but I don't show my knitting on here not yet anyway because I don't think it's good enough um, I'm doing starting some quilting that's the big project for the husband Shh, don't tell him I'll show you that once I'm in, underway with it <sighs> cross stitch plans that's what I was talking about I don't know whatever takes my fancy at the time I don't like making plans because I never feel like doing that when the time comes to it so I've decided no more planning just pick up and run with what you want to run with I was planning to finish the Dachshund in March, you know the Dachshund I showed you, but I've had to unpick quite a lot of it and it's now on the naughty corner because I can't work out how to make it right. Um, so yeah, I've put it on the naughty corner and um, we'll see, it'll probably be there for another couple of years, which is a shame because it is a nice kit. Hey ho! that's life isn't it um with that i really ought to go and check the time because i don't know what time it is and i do need to leave to get to leicester at some point today um and w the d's because they're being very good and very quiet have a wonderful day everybody take care bye bye